I've spent a day with both Jonathan Adler and Simon Doonan in their respective workplaces, and now they've invited me over to their apartment in the Greenwich Village area of Manhattan. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit nervous today because I get the sense that they have one of those apartments that's kind of perfect. They talk about living a better life, a fun life through design, kind of ratcheting it up, having some fun where you live. I'm curious if they practice what they preach. I'm gonna see if they bring it. Of course, I pull up to their place and they live on one of the poshest blocks in the village. I had a feeling it would be poor form to show up empty handed. Is that you, Adam? It is, darling. Hello. 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 Oh, you nice to How see you. How are you doing? How are you? Hey, How are you? Good to see you. Wow. Good to be. I brought Hello. flowers. My wife does flowers. Simone. Is that true? She does she flowers. Does, she does flowers She's for Bobo Restaurant and a couple oh, wow. other places. Can Come we in. give you a tour? I would love a tour. <laughs> Whose idea was it to paint the floor white? Actually, mine. Yeah. Johnny was struggling with the tone of the floor, and I said. Why don't you just paint it white and have it be groovy and mod and kind of swinging 60s? Is this the conference table or the dining room table? Well, both, actually. Oh, yeah. You have conferences here. You yeah, how can, yeah. You have, how can you literally bring work home? Unfortunately, now obviously work is 24 hours a day, yes. seven days a week, so all the time. But sometimes I'll have my operatives come here and we'll sit here and have... Do you have like, any operatives? <laughs> it sounds like a hernia or something. <laughs> no, like, it's more like James Bondy. Idiot. Exactly, very Dr. No. Um, yes, very Dr. And you, and you hold the dog. Yes. yes. No, the operatives will come here. It's like a good place to, you know, have an off-site meeting. This is my office. Is that a sitting chair or is that just more of a decorative chair? It's actually the dog's chair. The dog's chair. Yeah. And then that's one of my favorite, well, favorite, favorite that's things. That's beautiful. This was yeah. done by Ruben Toledo. Ah. He gave it to us when we got married. Wow. It's like a ketubah. Yeah. You guys project this lifestyle of fun and cheekiness, wit and whatnot, but you also seem like you guys work your butts off. Um, yeah, yeah, but we only do things we feel like doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, working your butt off is like, the yeah, first job like, I ever had in a factory, that's horrible. But not like Did you really have a job in a factory? Yes, because where I was born is a very industrial town, so the first thing you did when you were 16... Well, during the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so we're talking World century. War I or II. <laughs> Crimean War. Crimean. Crimean. <laughs> yeah, now that we've used up all the age jokes. <laughs> yeah. He started it. Sense of humor, sense of style, sense of fun. They've worked hard to make it look this easy. Oh, and they've got a ping pong table, too. Do we get to play ping pong? Totally. Let me just move Michael Jackson. <laughs> Have some respect. 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 <laughs> How often do you actually play a full game? Um, we didn't play a game just... because it's, it would devolve into too much hostility. Uh, ratcheting up any hostility. Yeah, any domestic rage you might have should come out at the ping pong table. <laughs> get the aggression, though. He's yeah. Been... Where, what uh, aggression? I don't know any, any right, aggression. <laughs> it's pretty obvious these two are living out their happy chic motto. And they've been doing it for the last 16 years. The blind date when you first met Jonathan. What do you remember of it? And a friend of mine said, you should go on a date with him. You guys would get on. And lots of people think, oh, Johnny shagged his way into Barney's. You gotta do what you gotta do. I wish it had been that easy. <laughs> we were already selling Johnny's pots at Barney's when I met him. We went on a date. I was wearing a suit, because, you know, I'm a retail executive, and he's all covered in clay, and um, we just had a really good time. He was very charming and funny. Et voila. Their apartment's a lot like their relationship. Two very different styles, which they've managed to blend seamlessly together. When do you know when to say when, in terms of decorating? Obviously, you guys say more is better, but you know, at some point... More is better. Honestly, I make stuff, so I'm constantly bringing stuff home yeah. all the time. And we try stuff out. He road tests everything. If you're going to mm. design a couch, you'd have to sit on it, live on it. That's very important. I kind of have like a giggly enthusiasm for everything I make. Like, I get really excited when I make new stuff, so I always like to bring it home. Do you always solicit Simon's I always solicit or Simon. criticism. <laughs> I, I give him my opinion if he asks for it because what Johnny does design-wise is very different from what I do. Mm. He is a rigorous designer. You know, if he one of those pots on the mantelpiece, he might remake the prototype 15 times before he gets it right. You guys have also talked about better life through design. 
seem like you practice what you preach. Yeah, well, yeah, I we think do. our apartment is, is fun, oh. and I look forward to coming home. And I walk in the door, and I think, wow, I never thought I'd live in a, in a fab place like this. And you're, and you're literally happy to be home. Yeah, I was born right after the war. <laughs> Crimean. Crimean Crimean war. Crimean. Yes. And um, we lived in a squalid little two-room apartment with no kitchen and bathroom. I'm, we had to go up and down the stairs, shared facilities, etc., etc. So I never thought I'd live in a place like this. This is very Adler esque this room. This is the TV room. Uh, all right, let's talk TV shows. We watch pretty much Hoarders, Locked Up, and intervention. <laughs> yeah, and we only sometimes. watch incredibly cop. depressing things. Only reality. Depressing, depressing, depressing. I think it's because the apartment is so pingy and optimistic that we can, act, we're actually looking for some misery. So, <laughs> like. to bring it all down, man. Yeah. Who's more likely to cry during a bad rom com? Or a good rom com? I don't know what a rom com well, is. Romantic comedy. Oh. Um, oh God, I would never we watch would a romantic never, never. comedy. If you're out of your mind, I'm watching ah. Cops. Yeah. And America's we don't Most have time Wanted. For those. Let's talk about the, the fact that you are both in these creative fields. And how important do you think to have some conflict and have some tension to create something interesting? If you've been through a, a lot of complex stuff, I mean, when I got my green card, they didn't give you a green card if you were gay. You couldn't get a green card if you were gay. You had to deny um, being homosexual on the application form and to the immigration officer. So, you know, I've been through that and it creates a real sort of fire in you and a desire to prove yourself and, and to sort of break through and show people that you, you're just as accomplished as everybody else, if not more so. And in my case, more so. More so, of course. Just kidding. <laughs> yes, yeah, what about Jonathan, what do you think? Do you have a similar experience or was it very different growing up in New Jersey in that? The similar experience that I had to Simon is having a teacher in school who told me that I had no talent, that I should um, not become a potter, and that sort of lit a fire in me. So I think everybody needs some horrible, horrible thing in their past to uh, rage against. I had a lot of fun hanging out with Simon and Jonathan, but it goes beyond the jokes and the ping pong. What's so admirable about them is that their success lies in their passion and their unwillingness to compromise professionally. But when it comes to their relationship, that's when they know how to find common ground. Thanks for um. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you thank you so much. You're <laughs> exactly. It's not fair. <laughs> thank thank you, you, Jonathan. Thank you, Simon. Uh, this has been great. Thank, thank you for you. Uh, allowing Come me into your home. Get your ass whipped again. Get my yeah, ass paddled. Totes. All right, guys. Thank Woo! you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>